While many drivers used to crossing the Bay Bridge may turn to some of the other spans to get across the Bay, BART is expecting that a lot of people will get out of their cars and take their trains instead. During the daytime, when the bridge is closed, we're going to have longer trains through the entire bridge closure. And overnight, for almost the entire shutdown, 14 BART stations will be operating 24 hours a day, running hourly trains during the times they're normally closed. You can see the list of those stations right here. They include El Cerrito del Norte, downtown Berkeley, Walnut Creek, Oakland's MacArthur and Coliseum stops, Dublin Pleasanton, Daly City, Powell Embarcadero, and the San Francisco Airport Station. But there is an exception. BART has to close down for four hours early Tuesday morning, the last day of the planned closure, from midnight to 4 a.m. for state-mandated train inspections and maintenance work. AC Transit will be suspending Transbay bus service until the Bay Bridge is back in business. Until then... People who normally would take a Transbay bus could hop on that same bus but it would dump them off instead at uh, BART station for their continued trip to San Francisco. The spokesman for the San Francisco Bay Ferries expects about a 15% boost in ridership during the shutdown and says they'll add extra boats to and from their Oakland, Alameda Main Street, Harbor Bay, Vallejo and San Francisco terminals. So we have uh, not only additional departures, but of course more frequency. Transit officials suggest that everyone give themselves plenty of time to get to where they need to go. Maureen Kelly, Cronport News. That's one thing is obviously when there's a lot of congestion, clearly there's going to be more vehicles um, taking routes that they don't normally take or using public transit. We just urge everyone to give themselves plenty of time to get where they need to go.